Okay, welcome to part two of my DD travel hammock demonstration. This part is about setting the DD up as a ground dwelling. You know, if you're out on the road, as I plan to be on the motorbike, and you can't find any trees, with most hammocks you'd be stuck, but not with the DD. If you follow me around at this site, I'll show you what's going on inside. It's probably a bit difficult to see, but what I've done is, I've stretched the hammock out underneath the top. The DD hammock's great because it's got a double bottom layer. Both layers are waterproof, so you can just slide your insulation right in there. Whatever you use, I use the XBED Sinmat 7, which is great. That'll stay dry, it'll keep you warm, you stay nice and warm and dry. The added benefit of using the DD over just simply tarp camping is the mozzie net. You can suspend the mozzie net the same way that I showed you in the hammock video. You just clip it to the carabiners that I've already dangled off the tarp ridge line. Pull those knots to the side, that suspends the mozzie net above you. You can zip yourself in, you get a nice comfortable night's sleep. Warm, dry, no insect bites. It's great. Let's have a look inside and hopefully if it's bright enough you can see more about what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see, here's the double layers. One layer and two layers inside. At the minute I've got the sleeping bag which you've seen. I usually string under the hammock as an undercloak. I've designed that to clip on and off so I can do this basically so I don't have a non-waterproof layer on the bottom. Up here, we can see that is basically as it was on the hammock. Well, I'm just clipping that carabiner. The poles are inserted into the inserts. The carabiner's clipped up. And that keeps the muzzy net above me. Oh, one more thing. I don't know if you can see, but I have pegged it out to give me a bit more breathing space. Now, because of the modification I made to hang the gear hammock with this loop keeping this scrunched up the entire time, I'm losing a bit of length. So if you're taller than I am, if you're six foot or whatnot, it might not work for you, but for me it's a perfect length. However, you could just set it up without a gear hammock and without this thing and then it'll be nice. It's, it really is roomy. I, I did try it set up before I added this and it was incredibly roomy. I could have my bags alongside me and everything. Okay, so what I've done is I've used two walking poles as makeshift tent poles. And then with the tarp still in its snakeskin, I've simply strung it up with a simple clove hitch over the top and pegged it down at the bottom so it's nice and taut. Once it's strung up between the two walking poles, slide that snakeskin back, peg the top out like you would a normal tent or a normal tarp, uh, and then put the hammock inside. The hammock's still in its snakeskin. So what I did then was peg the ends of the hammock out using the suspension until I could slide the snakeskin off and then spread it out and away you go. 